But first, with Florida breaking a national record for the number of cases reported in a single day, it's important that we take a closer look at exactly what those numbers mean. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Candace Aviles. So it's the most cases any state has ever reported. The state health department recorded 15,300 new COVID-19 cases in our state. You can see that last line spikes above the others on this graph, along with our 14 day moving average that just continues to climb. But before you panic, there is a silver lining here. These results came from almost 143,000 tests. Now, if you take a look at that percent positivity, that has actually dropped the past three days. On Thursday, the percent of tests that came back positive was over 18. On Friday and Saturday, it hovered above 12%. Today, while the total positive cases was a huge number, only 11.25% of all of the tests were positive. The state hasn't reported a percent positivity below 12% since June 25th. Today's reported deaths also down from yesterday. 45 Florida residents died from COVID-19 today after 95 deaths were reported yesterday. Across the state, more than 7,000 more COVID-19 patients were also hospitalized. Now, before Florida's record-breaking number of cases, which again come from an enormous pool of tests, New York held the record for the most cases recorded in a single day, with more than 12,200 cases reported way back on April 4th. That number comes from the Miami Herald. But we have to remember, the situation in New York is very different than what's happening here in Florida. When New York broke that single-day record, there was a scarcity of tests. So while their case numbers were very high, their percent positivity was also more than double what we're reporting today. We also do have to remind you that New York's population is about 2 million less than the population of Florida. So generally, because we have more people, you're going to see more cases. 